guys, welcome back to Emily in the Mix. I wanted to make this quick video for you tonight because it's literally taken me five days to work out how to get Ableton Live 10 to hook up with the Machine Jam hardware. Um, <clears throat> the script exists, the template for that matter exists at least. I don't know if other people are having the same problem that I had. Uh, but literally, it's very simple and I'm going to go over the steps really quickly with you right now um, and hopefully make it as easy as possible to understand. Alright guys, so basically it's very simple. Um, obviously, first off, you want to go to your control editor software, which is Native Instruments software. Um, so just locate it here. I've got control editor. And then if we go to the template support files folder, we go in here and then there's Ableton Live 10 in the latest update for control editor. Um, there's only a machine jam script in there at the moment. Now you just need to copy that and then go back to um, Ableton Live 10, which is the software I was having trouble with this uh, in. Um, right click that, show package contents, then you want to go contents, app resources, and then MIDI remote script. And then you want to paste that in here. Now I've already pasted um, the script in here. So if we have a look, I've already got it machine. And how you know that it's actually, this is how you can differentiate between Ableton Live 9 and Ableton Live 10, is that the machine jam script folder has jam written in capitals rather than lowercase. So now if we jump back into jump back into my Ableton Live session, so you can see that here. Now if we jump into Ableton Preferences and we go to the MIDI link tab, here you'll see I've got Machine Jam selected. Then my input is Machine Jam 1. And then my output is Machine Jam 1. And then I've selected Machine Jam input, track and sync and then machine jam output is track and sync. Now, I was getting this far, but I still wasn't getting the lights and I still wasn't getting the launch clips that you can see on my machine jam right now. And it was doing my head in and I read a bunch of forums online, still couldn't find the answer. Um, so this is the part I wanna make clear for you guys and this is what actually got it working for me. And I don't know if everyone has to do this or if it's just some weird thing that happened with my computer that made it impossible to work with. But if we go to the control editor, so we go back looking at my screen here, in uh, applications, so I've got it here in my native instruments. <clears throat> here we go. Control editor. And then actually open up the control editor app. And then we can see here, we can select. So go down to machine and then go down to machine jam. And you got one, two, three, four. Okay, so basically what I did is I selected each four of these templates and then I, all I did was I added here in this right section, the template section, I added Ableton Live 10 at the top there as you can see. And I did that for each machine jam, one, two, three, four, selecting Ableton Live 10 every time. Okay. And number three, Ableton Live 10. I've already done it, so I don't need to do it again. And in template four, you can see it there as well. So that's it, guys. That literally, after I did that, I had Machine Jam operating full functionality and very happy indeed. I don't know if you can see, actually, my machine studio is wigging out there. It's gone into MIDI mode. Um, that was it. Then I can literally close the control editor. And now, as you can see, I've got my clips, I've got my levels, I've got auxiliaries, I've got full control, I can launch clips as I go. And just to give you proof that I'm actually able to do this with Ableton Live 10 and Machine Jam talking seamlessly to each other, I will play some music for you right now. Let me just get this out of MIDI mode here for the Machine Jam. Um, so yeah, let's just have a little play here. So. So that's the Machine Studio that's come from Ableton, but I'm controlling this from Ableton Live 10, which is freaking awesome. I can mute. I 
and go back to Machine Studio. Make sure that's not muted. That's not. Ah, oh, it's muted here though. There you go. I got some really fat bass here. Anyway, as you can see, I've got full control, full functionality back. It's very awesome indeed. Just a nice quick video for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, likes, comments in the below section. Let me know if you had a similar situation happen to you guys. Also, interested to know whether it was just my computer or not because I just struggled to get this going and I looked online and I could not find the answers. So hopefully this helps you guys out there and enjoy creating with Machine Jam and Ableton Live. I think this is a marriage made in heaven. I know that Ableton Push is designed for Ableton and I've had a push in the past, but I just prefer Machine Jam because I got the synchronization between the machine software and hardware and Ableton Live is like a, it's a dream come true basically. Anyway, thanks heaps guys. We'll have more awesome reviews, music, tech tips, whatever in some future videos. Subscribe to the channel, you know what to do. Peace out. Boom.